who wants to visit a museum? Isn't it just a space full of stories that happened centuries ago? And stories about people that were no longer alive and never have Facebook or Instagram. And why would I visit a museum, even one that used to be a church anyway? Haven't you heard about Google yet? My mother loves to visit museums. She says that museums are spaces that bring history to life. But I feel pretty alive on my couch watching Netflix and texting my friends on WhatsApp. My mother has one museum that's her favourite. I don't remember the name, but it's about the history of Dumyao de Goish. She can stay there for hours walking around reading, watching and analysing every single detail. I think sometimes she can get lost in that big black capsule of time. Why is this museum her favourite? I don't know. I think she likes the fact that old and new, past and present come together there. She's insisting that I go and visit this museum, but I've told her I've seen all this museum's videos and photos on the internet. Why should I lose my time going there? My mother says that on the internet you cannot truly understand the geometry of the ceiling and the texture of the brick walls or travel around the fragmented nucleus. Another thing she said was that we will be able to meet the guide, a great storyteller. Really? Well, Facebook doesn't allow me to have more friends. I've reached my maximum. What's so important that this guide could say about Damiao de Goish and the Inquisition victims that Wikipedia hasn't already told me? I don't know about you, but I don't want to leave the comfort of my digital world to visit this Alenka museum. Well, my only reason to visit this museum will be posting new photos on my Instagram profile. It'll probably get a lot of likes, don't you think?